Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to class. Today is Thursday, April 14th, 2020. Today in phonics, we will continue to add letters to make a another word. So I have this fun activity for you waiting in Seesaw. And we're just going to add one letter and you're going to do a word search and find the words that have the word it. I-T. It. In them. Okay? So you can pause the video and go ahead and go in, into Seesaw and complete this if you want. But if you want to complete it when we're done with the whole lesson, that's fine too. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to reading. So in reading this week, we focused on main or central idea and the details. So we're going to listen to a portion of our book and we're going to write down another detail. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Okay, so here, Purple Crayon was telling Duncan that he was what? What was the purple crayon telling Duncan? I put that purple crayon does not like that Duncan colors messy. So that is my detail, my second detail. Okay, so of course your detail doesn't have to be about purple crayon. You can write about green crayon or another detail from the book, black or white crayon. So that was my example for you. So this is what we have so far, okay? We have the main idea, the person or the people, the place or the thing that the book is mostly about. Now with the title, that told us that Duncan's crayons quit. So I put that as my main idea. And why did they quit? What's important about the crayons? So I put yesterday's lesson was Red Crayon sent Duncan a letter. Red Crayon feels he works too hard. So that tells me why Red Crayon quit. Purple Crayon does not like that Duncan color's messy. So that tells me why Purple Crayon would quit, right? So you will have this available for you in Seesaw to finish completely. If you already finished it, the whole thing with your details, that's perfectly fine. So you can go ahead and pause it when you're ready for math. Okay, so here we are in math. And we're still focusing on money, but again, all this week we decided to have the value and then you would, or we would, draw the coins or put whatever coins into the value that it belonged to, right? So you will have this activity, which is our just a nickel activity. So guess what you're just going to be using? You're just going to be using nickels. And nickels is counting by fives. So this is your activity that you will have waiting for you in Seesaw. And that's it, boys and girls. Today is an easy peasy lesson. It's your turn to show what you learned. And that's it. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun today. Be safe. And I miss you very much.